I've always thought of myself as a really confident person, but when I started losing my hair, it was the first time in my life that I really felt insecure. And I would look in the mirror and the elevators, seeing the back of my head and this bald spots, and it kind of drove me nuts. And at the same time as I had that confidence, I can do anything kind of feeling inside of me, the outside of me was, felt like it was falling apart. I was only 23, 24 years old, and I was already starting to look a lot older than I actually was. I felt like this was the prime of my life. This was the chance for especially myself as an entertainer, living in the Philippines, now having a record deal and singles on the radio. Things should be taking off it, all, all the way around, but my hair was falling out. And that really hit me hard. One night I was at the Mix Music Awards, which is like the MTV Music Awards in the Philippines. It's the big music awards. And I wasn't nominated, but I was invited. And this girl who I had a huge crush on, it's kind of a public thing. I ended up doing a duet with her years later. She sat next to me and I was a giant fan of this girl. I mean, it was like, she was my number one crush in the Philippines. And she sat down right next to me after winning an award. And I was like, Yang, like, I'm a huge fan of you. You're, you're amazing. And uh, I said, I even know all of your songs. And I started singing one of her songs in Tagalog and Filipino. And she's like, wow, that's really cool that you know my song. But how do you know that song? You're so old. She literally said it to me. It was like a dagger in my heart when she said it to me. I was like, shoot, like up until that point, I kind of thought I maybe had a chance with this girl. So it wasn't actually long after that that I started researching hair transplants. There was another girl who's one of the most popular dancers in the Philippines. She has won every dance award in the Philippines, like incredible break dancer, hip hop dancer. And we had been on a date actually one time before I ever had any kind of hair work done. We had been on one date, nothing happened. We just went out, had some Starbucks and she's on billboards and all this kind of stuff. And that, that was cool, but yeah, it didn't go anywhere. And again, kind of frustrating. So after my first hair transplant, I went back to the Philippines and I called this girl, the dancer, and we went on a date. And partway through, I was kind of wondering, like, did she notice my hair? Like, do I look worse? Do I look weird? And I asked her, I said, do you notice anything different about me? <laughs> and her response, her only response, she goes, yeah, you look way better. <laughs> and I was like, confidence boosted. We ended up spending the night together and trust me, that night was worth every penny that I spent on my first hair transplant. At that point, it wasn't a public thing that I'd had a hair transplant. I hadn't really told anyone. I'd definitely not made any videos about it. And I was still a bit insecure about people finding out, especially girls that I was going on dates with. I was single at the time and Tinder was really popular. So I was going on a lot of dates. I went on like 14 dates in 10 days uh, from Tinder in New York. And it was a blast. I was having a great time. And so finally, during one of those dates, I was like, hey, I'm going on tons of dates. I guess I really have nothing to lose. I'm gonna tell this girl on our date that I've had a hair transplant and just see what the reaction is. And so within about the first 30 minutes of us having a glass of wine together, I think I had made her guess. I was like, hey, I've had some cosmetic surgery done. And you know, can you guess what I've had done? She was like, really? No. Um, I said, well, I've had a hair transplant. Well, you know, most of this hair up here is transplanted. And it was wild, the reaction she gave me. It was exactly the opposite of what I thought I was going to get. I thought she was going to kind of go, oh, wow, like you're some kind of sissy dude who cares about their hair. But she was really interested in the fact that I'd had this cosmetic surgery done. And she started talking about things about herself that she'd thought about changing. And it was this kind of instant connection that me and this girl had. And that ended up being a really good night too. So I realized that it wasn't such a bad thing to tell girls, even right up front, that I had cosmetic surgery done. If anything, it gave us, it gives me and most girls who almost all want to change something about their body, an instant connection. So if anything, I realized that sharing the fact that I had cosmetic surgery done with a girl really has helped me bond with girls. And on dates now, it's always something that I bring up because it's, I haven't had one time where it was a negative. It's always a positive. And once you can share your insecurities with somebody and they can share them with you, 
that's a really deep connection. And that's what you're looking to do when you're on a date is to make a deep connection with somebody and really start to get to know them, hopefully quickly, so you can figure out if that's somebody that you wanna be with or somebody you don't. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering, is my life over when it comes to my hair? I wanna tell you that I have not only fixed my baldness, and there's a good chance that you can fix your baldness if you're really willing to do your research and spend the time, effort, and potentially money to do that. Crazy enough, the last time I went to go get my hair cut, which was just a couple weeks ago, I'm finishing getting my hair cut, and the girl cutting my hair, she said to me, she's like, wow, you know, you have great hair. And I couldn't believe that. I mean, no one has said that to me really ever, maybe since I was like six years old. <laughs> so going full circle and being at this point and now feeling like I not only have that hair that's been transplanted, but I also have different methods that I'm using that I've made videos about like the topical finasteride and biotin and uh, laser helmets and all of these things to help me maintain and keep this awesome hair that I've been able to, to get back. It just makes me really excited and makes me excited to share these videos with you because most of you guys watching one way or another you also have a shot at having a great head of hair